Tucson, I'm Sophie Gibson Rush here, lucky to be joined by Sean Cullen, Artistic Director of Reveille Men's Choir. He's here to talk about the upcoming year end show that they're putting together. Hi, Sean. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Um, so, really quick, the show is on May 13th and 14th at the Temple of Music and Art, and what's it called? What's Love Got to Do, Got to Do with It. <laughs> So what can people expect from this show? So basically it's a take on love and the many ways that uh, it affects us. And so there's going to be happy moments and funny moments. And any way that love can really be attached to a song, we found a way to kind of deliver it to the Tucson community. That's an enormous amount of repertoire to choose from. Yeah, we're doing everything from the Beatles to uh, some, well, uh, a 90s boy band moment. We're doing some <laughs> classical music. Uh, it's just so eclectic and all over the place, just as love is. Anything tragic? Just as love sometimes is? Love can be tragic and heartbreaking, and so we're going to share a little bit of that, too. Cool. Um, here is uh, page turn. Gross. Page turn. This is measure 21. Measure 21. <laughs> Let's build this. Lower voices. Here's your C. We're the only choral experience uh, in Tucson that's focused around the LGBTQ um, community, focused on the B TTBB side, which is the tenor and bass side. Uh -huh. So it's really not gendered, but we are a men's chorus. Uh, we're always open to anybody that wants to come and sing with us. We have uh, gay men, bisexual men, trans men, straight allied men. We have ev everybody uh, coming to sing with us every week. Yeah, so it's more about tone of voice than Absolutely. whatever else you're identifying as. As long as you can sing the part, you can come sing with Reveille. That's so awesome. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Because it's more than just a choir, um, what would you say Reveille's role in the Tucson community is? We create a space for um, people to uh, express themselves through music as well as attach themselves to a mission. Mm -hmm. Our mission is changing lives through music and we do that by presenting songs and um, piece, pieces of theatricality that can impact people and change people's views on diversity, um, equality inclusiveness, all those wonderful things that makes um, a, com a community here in Tucson really rich. Yeah, and we were talking a little earlier and one thing you said that I really responded to was that it's a place where people can come to socialize, to be together, including the audience. Absolutely. Outside of like a bar. Absolutely, like yeah. That. It's an alternative space. For sure. Um, Tucson uh, is small but large, yeah. right? <laughs> and so in the, in the queer community, we have a smaller environment and to find a place where you can be yourself and express yourself through music and meet new friends mm -hmm. and find another social outlet is kind of rare and so yeah. Reveille is providing that space for everybody from 18 to 70 some. So you can um, 
contact us through revelymenschorus.org and we have open auditions once in August and once in January each year. You come in, you hang out with us for a couple of rehearsals and then if you like it, you stay for a voice check, which is me just checking to see which part you belong in. Let's get to you. Okay. So <laughs> I know because of some of my connections to the classical music world that choral directors have a reputation for being autocrats. How do you view your job? <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I love my job. I'm, I'm blessed to be able to uh, come in and work with people that are just amazing and work with songs and um, different genres of music every day. Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher by day, so I get to work with middle school students. Oh, cool. And I uh, work with college students at the Arizona Repertory Theater, and then finally an amazing group of, of, of men each week with Reveille. So I'm lucky. I get to do everything um, through song. It sounds like it's a lot of give and take. For sure. Yeah. Um, I get a lot back from the amazing mm -hmm. voices and the energy, and then we put that together and deliver it to our community, hopefully with an amazing message for change. Do you have a specific favorite moment or part of your job? <sighs> I love the process. Mm -hmm. It's not really about the product for me, it's seeing the growth within the singers and the songs. I know that you're a musician as well. <laughs> yeah. So seeing that point where we start everything from scratch and it's really kind of horrible, mm -hmm. and then we end where it's absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love that whole journey. Oh, sometimes there's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really rocky yeah, and awful. It can but be yeah, rocky. yeah, I'm glad to hear that that lifts my spirit. For sure. Um, one more time. Just uh, recap the show. How do people get tickets? How can they support you? Sure. It's uh, What's Love Got to Do, Got to Do With It at the Temple of Music and Art at the home of Arizona um, Theater Company. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are performing on the 13th and 14th, which the 14th is Mother's Day. So it's a perfect day <laughs> to show perfect. your mom some love and yeah. bring her down to uh, a whole bunch of singing, dancing, wonderful people. Thanks for um, the reminder. Right? <laughs> yeah. You can get your tickets at uh, www.revelymenschorus.com. Org, or you can get them at the door if you want to do the Tucson procrastinate thing. Just awesome. come right to the yeah. door. We do do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I've been here with Sean Cullen, Artistic Director of Reveille Men's Chorus. I hope to see you at the show on the 13th or 14th. Thanks so much, Tucson. I'll see you soon. Bye.